Nate and I would like to thank the Niagara Corporation for sponsoring today's episode of Let Me Tell You Something. Niagara is the country's leading manufacturer of water-conserving plumbing products, including toilets that reduce water usage by up to 60%. Niagara products were originally designed just for plumbing professionals, but they're now available for homeowners as well. So if you're remodeling your home or constructing new, check out NiagaraCorp.com to get long-lasting water savings. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Isaiah Stanback in the building once again for another episode of Let Me Tell You Something. And it wouldn't be Let Me Tell You Something without the only one that knows how to say it the right way. My big dog, Big Nate Dog. Yes. What's up, baby? Nothing, man. I am just glad to be here another week with you, mm-hmm. Isaiah, doing this great podcast, man. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, some thing, I mean, we. I'll probably get stuck on a certain issue. and I, it's, hey, I'm going to nice. lead up to you to, to, to get me off of that. To get, you know what I'm saying? You know, I see you got your polo on, man. You, yeah. did, did you watch the Masters this weekend? No, no, man. It's, it's, it's all about Jones having my high all school. About, okay. Man. It's yeah, the high Players school. Club. Yeah, it's part of one of my chair. Well, I ain't got but one no, chair. No, it's cute. Just, yeah. just Players Club. Players no. Club. Jones High Players Club. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's, that's how y'all roll. What, what was yeah. your mascot, Nate? Uh, we're Tigers, man. You was a, your Tigers. Tigers. You can see right there. You can't see it, but it's a big, big old tiger. tiger so, so hold it, toting the cub. Got take, a cub. Take it back. Cub. So you, what are all the mascots that you had going back? I had a memorial. That's junior high. Okay. We uh, I don't think we had one in elementary. Yeah. You know, but we had one in junior high, and okay. we were the soldiers. You know, soldiers, we soldiers just soldiers. Yeah. Okay. And then we, in high school, we were the tigers. In <laughs> college, we were the rattlers, the rattlesnake. Yeah, okay. with the Cowboys, it's for life. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've been all my life. All right. Okay. Yeah. So you've so, been a cowboy, you've been a soldier, yeah, a tiger. Yeah. And uh, and what was the last one? Uh, uh, and then I played for the Tampa Bay Bandits. And it was a bandit with a thing wrapped around your head. Uh, oh, you know, oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm trying to think what mine's right. I can't go back to junior. I don't think junior high, I didn't have a match. Yeah, well, junior high, we did. Though. Yeah, yeah, we did. We didn't have that. My mom sent me up to the, <laughs> she yeah. sent me off <laughs> from middle school. <laughs> high school, I was a bulldog. Okay, okay. Okay, Garfield Bulldog. We hold it down. Yeah, that's what we do. Uh, Okay. Uh, We got them dogs. (laughs) College, I was another dog. I was a husky. Uh, Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Then I got to the league. I was was everything. I was a cowboy. (laughs) I was a dog on Patriot. I was a. Yeah. The the Giants, they don't really have a mascot. Nah. Nah, I don't know where the Giant is. I ain't never thought about yeah, that. Yeah, the New York Giant. I don't know what that Giant is. Maybe somebody can send that in. And, yeah, somebody you do know. some homework for us. What's your, what's your thing? What's your Twitter or handle? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I am staying back. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Find me on there. You know what I'm saying? news 61 at hotmail.com. You, you can go. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, the Giants don't have a dog on mascot. Yeah. How many teams in the NFL don't have a mascot? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I ain't even try to go to. I ain't gonna even try to go there. Somebody got y'all got some homework to do. What's a jet? They, I guess they just a, a airplane. <laughs> yeah, I don't New York know. jets. New York, the whole city of New York don't have New Jersey, yeah. New York. They don't have any mascot. Okay, a Knickerbocker. An, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess it's better. What's the worst? What's the worst mascot you ever seen? I got mines in my head. I got it. I, I don't. I don't know, man. What What is your worst? Stanford Cardinal. What is a cardinal? What start, is, it's a tree. Lord. Jeez. They have a tree running around. But you know, they, they smart, they intelligent. So they make a tree? you know. They want smart with that one. So I mean, nah, I mean, nobody, you know. Hey, I ain't going <laughs> to get into that. I ain't uh, going to get into that. All right, Nate Dog. last one. Where, where, where'd you go this past week? We know that this time of the year, Nate Dog is on the road. My man got... My man got the dog on uh, the motorcade going. He hops yeah. in the whip. And he just drives. He might be in a city near you, wherever you might be at. Right. But Nate, where'd you go this past week? Colorado. Colorado. Boulder, Colorado. What, what man? Who honestly goes to Boulder, Colorado? There ain't nothing out there. Yeah, mountains galore, streams. Uh, uh, man, I don't know if they can ski these mountains. It's beautiful, man. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, it's, it is. It is outstanding. Boulder. I mean, but outside you know. of the sight store, there really ain't nothing there though. <clears throat> just that's against a football team there. It's a packed there is? team there that's finna take, take there, over, the, finna storm the conference. There, there's, hold on, there's a team out there? Yeah. I, I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Go, yeah, go, called go. the Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah, they're going to stampede the big the, the oh, Pac-12 this oh, year. Listen here. They're going to stampede. Listen up. Huskies wrangle up Buffalo. You understand what I'm saying? They tell them what direction to go. What y'all do is stay on the outskirts <laughs> of the right. herd <laughs> looking for stragglers. That's what y'all do. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, this, that's what y'all do. Come on, Nate, dog. You can't. You gonna jump on the on the Colorado bandwagon because your boy out my there, my boy Prime out there. Give him a year. Y'all better do what y'all do this year, because after this, Nate, our quarterback about to win the Heisman. Yeah, how y'all gonna beat that? That's a single award. That ain't got nothing to do with the yeah, team. But I mean, our that's team, a single. But we got award. a top ten team. We got the last. We got, we got year. the number one Heisman candidate this year as quarterback. And we were a top 10 team coming off of last year, and we got a lot of cats returning. So I'm just trying to understand how you guys go, a team full of transfers, going to compete against well, that. Who, who were y'all before? Huh? A team full of transfers who? last year. I mean, Where did your quarterback come from? I'm just saying, you know. Where do you <laughs> – Why you got to go backwards? Are we talking about now? We talking about the president. Dave? Why you want to talk about old stuff? Huh? Come on, man. <laughs> Why does everybody number one quarterback – Come from another school. Because Everybody's everything number changed. one quarter. No, games change, Nate. Let me let me. The question I have here is: just think, and I could be wrong. Please call in, shoot us a text, whatever. But one Bur- uh, Burles uh-huh. at Ohio State and went to LSU, or was oh, he Burrow. at Georgia? Joe Burrow. Yeah, 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 or was yeah, he at? Yeah. Cats be moving. Cats be moving. Cats be moving. It's not like it used to be. The transfer portal changed the game. But this is how many quarterbacks are position players that have lost, that have never played their position, yeah. never got a chance to develop, and could have been in the league. The NCAA, I have nothing for you. Yeah. yeah. I have nothing for you. I, I, I don't because how many athletes, great athletes, never get a chance to touch the field because a coach didn't like you or you were so stockpiled and you couldn't get from underneath it. Yep, the politics. Now you can get from underneath it. Now you can, but you're going to do it once. Yeah. You're going to transfer one time, in my understanding, right? So cats got to be selective about when they do so. To your point, if you are a developmental player, no matter what your position is, chances are you're never going to see the light of day because they're going somebody else is going to transfer in and they'll be ahead of you and they're going to play now. So during a time that you should be developing, you're going to be sitting there watching. Yeah, you better t- – you know what? You would be better off going to a lower level. And playing. And playing mm-hmm. and letting you – and developing yeah. and then taking off after that. Would that be your advice to some of these younger yeah. kids? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to, today's athlete, if unless you're a top 100 athlete, mm-hmm. I mean, not only just one uh, – Scout and combine, but on several, if yeah. you're a top 100 athlete, you do your thing. Yeah. But if you're a guy that's under the radar, a three star, a two star, a lot of people don't know, you you better go somewhere where you can play, man. Yeah. You better you better be. get some playing time. Film talks. Film is your resume for all those that are out there still trying to make make the trek up to the league. But talking about college, coming off of college, now we're transitioning into the NFL draft, right? We're a couple weeks out for the NFL draft, Nate, and I know Just you – Just full of portal players. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what the doggone draft is. But I know that you keep your eye on one team. What is that team, Nate? The Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys. Now, is it, is it the or the D? You Whatever. Until we get into the second round of the playoffs. It don't matter. Whatever you, whatever you want. They, the boys <laughs> – Cowboys, little boys. You can call them the boys? Yeah, you can call them the boys because right about they now. They earned that right, Nate. The boys. How about them boys? Right about now, we're don't. We not riding like that. We just the Dallas Cowboys. What did they call you guys back in the day when y'all was winning? <laughs> Champions. <Ooh. laughs> Champions. Yes, sir. Super Bowl winners. Yes, sir. That hurts. That hurts that, that, that hurts the new generation, Nate. Yes, that hurts it the does. new generation. But you got dedicated help. to the calls. Mm-hmm. But we we've, we've talked about some of the acquisitions that they've made, Nate. But going into the uh going oh, you see that catch right there? Your yeah. boy still got hands. Just say it might run that back in slow motion. Uh <laughs> just said. I didn't even have to look at it. I just knew where it was at. You know what I okay. mean? That's called proprioception. That means we are awareness, spatial awareness. Right, but uh, great muscle memory. That's right, right there. Uh, <laughs> but going into the draft, the Dallas Cowboys, I'm going to go ahead and take a peek at some of the draft picks that they have. Okay. Um, let's see here. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, I, I had it pulled up. Let me go see where we're at here. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what? I lost it. Oh, here we go. Round one, pick 26. Round two, pick 58. Round three, pick 90. Round four, pick 129. Round five, 176. Round six, 212. Round seven, 246. So the Dallas Cowboys have one pick in each round of the draft. Yes, they do. Each round of the draft. I want you to go one through seven, Nate. We're going to go head to head. 
Okay. Okay. We're gonna go head to head. What should the what position group? Should the Dallas Cowboys take one that they should take and one that we would settle for? Is that a cool? Oh, that works. Let's okay. do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. So round one. Let's go round round. Ding ding. Round uh, one. I hope we can get an offensive lineman. No, no, Nate, you gotta take the hope out of it. I need to know what does Nate Newton, Newton want? A, a guard. Dallas a guard. A left guard. Specific. Specific. Okay. A guy that but it, it could be either one, but they, they ain't gonna get the uh, they ain't gonna get Martin's job. So a left guard. We need a left guard to pair with the great Tyler, uh, Tyler, Tyler Smith. Smith so that these guys can build, uh, build a chemistry for the next 20 years. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Nate, dog. So I, I too, in round one, am going with a left guard. Not an offensive lineman, not a tackle, That's not right. a center, not a right guard. Left guard. guard. Yes, sir. Speci- I, I want a specialist. Spe- just like a long snapper is a specialist, yes. I want a specialist left guard for the Dallas Cowboys because that's what they need. There's a lot of talk going around right now about B. John Robinson. Don't get me. Don't get me going either, yeah, Nate. All right? But since move, we, since we, move on. We, we, we got to talk two minutes on it. Don't touch him. Why? That's no disrespect to the young man. He I, is a gr- – I, I heard – I heard he's a beast. I heard Charlie Weiss come on in the NFL. Okay. Former Notre Dame coach. Said, he said – he was telling his partner, he said, when I look at film, I go and look for myself, and then I make a decision. And then I call around, but I want to look for myself. Correct. He say, I, I, I know what he can do well, but I'm looking for his weaknesses. Yes. And he said, for, for the first time, he said, I, his weaknesses are so small till they're just wow. not even discussing. Wow. I'm like, what? Not coach? Coach gave him just, High exactly. he said, man. In a, in, a, in a league where they don't value running backs, he said, this is the only one yeah. I would take in the first round. Wow. He didn't say whether it was the f- top of the round or top of the bottom. Bottom. He yeah. said, this is the only one. If he's in the first round, I would take this guy. And I said, whoa, okay. But in my mind right there, I'm thinking, this was two weeks ago I heard this. Mm-hmm. I said, I'm still not taking him. Gotcha. Because you you our you need is too man. great. Yeah. Our need is too great. For the offensive line to be so, uh, why why do people why do people go for the dangly like the dangly fruit like it's just shiny, right? We have we have we have we, have we have we seen enough movies where they were eating eating the shining fruit, Nate? Never, never, never taste. <laughs> you just Snow White. They brought Snow. a pretty red apple. <laughs> man, she just <laughs> come on, man. Oh, what, what about Adam and Eve? Yeah, huh? no, don't do it. Come on, no. <laughs> Don't let the sins of the world fall on them. Ah, my brother. Don't let, don't let the apple of Don't let the eye. sins of the Get world fall on them. Listen up. There's no disrespect to him or anybody else in that position. He is a position. great running back. He is great. He's a beast. And most likely he's going to have an amazing, successful career. However, if – Nate and I, I, got, I think I can speak on behalf of yeah, Nate and I. I'm right. giving a chance to. If the Dallas Cowboys want to be great and want to control the game – in all aspects, they need to control the line of scrimmage. Yes. That's not to say yes. that you can't go get a running back, but you don't go get them in the first round. Because the only way you're going to get the, the type of offensive lineman that you want is by doing what, Nate? Grab them. Yeah, in the what round? In the first round. In the first round. He ain't going to be there in the Let me second. say this right here. And, and, and I'm not a money guy. If you, if you want to go over yeah. the cap, Let's go over the cap and go on and get what we need. Okay. But if you're going to be safe and like we're trying to be safe around the cap, we just got rid of $12 million. Mm. But we go out and get Jones for, for $1.5, 3000000 $3 We got a, a, a franchise player in Tony Pollard for $10 mil. Now you're going to draft a running back that you're going to have to at least give a, a mil five. Now we, we back up around three or four, five, $15 million in cap. Why did we do? Why would we do that? When we can take some of that, trim it down, and put that into a valuable offensive lineman. I'm telling you, man, we need offensive lineman because this thing after this year gonna collapse if we don't. Nate, it's gonna collapse. Nate, there's 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 a there's a couple names out there, but one in particular that I'm looking at that is a complete dog. Who is that? And he's free. His name is. Kareem Hunt. Wow. Free, Nate. Meaning that you can go talk to his agent. Right now. Right now. And negotiate a, a, a deal that's favorable for both parties. Yeah. Because he's still out there. But you don't have to. You don't have you to. Have, you have Tony. 
you have Jones. You ha- well, I guess I'm I'm coming from this from the perspective. If that's a position group that you want to address, and if you don't, and if you don't want to spend a first round pick on it, go get a tried and true guy, right? Because what the reality is, you don't have Tony Pollard locked up past this year. You do. Trust me. Okay. Everybody, trust me when I say the market for running backs and linebackers are basically the same. Mm. Right now, the franchise tag is around 10. Mm -hmm. The way teams are working it, when you become that, if you're a fifth year player as a first round pick, they actually letting guys shop themselves. Correct. That's telling you that you can go over here and they can overpay you, but here's the seven million we want to give yeah, you. Yeah, this is what we're willing to pay you. Tony, if his agent is smart, will take this ten million, say this is a signing bonus, get us for five, six, and seven. However you want to do mm-hmm. it for the next three years after this year. Okay. Because in two years, when they say franchise tag or running back, that thing gonna be around about six million dollars. You think it's gonna drop? Oh, it's gonna drop. It's it's gonna drop. Yeah. What Kansas City and 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 <laughs> Philadelphia did this year? They proved it to you. They proved that if you get a running back that can block very well and run the ball, we'll put him in the game. Uh, we got a running back that the can top, run very catch very well. The top teams, yes, the top four teams in the NFL over the. Most recent years, none of them had a dominant running back. None. They had three guys. Yep, committee. And 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 if you were hot, you were a starter. Mm. If you were if you didn't miss blocks, Good you point. were a starter. It wasn't as if you're the most talented. It was the the guy that was the because Kansas City didn't even start. Kansas City. The, their, their, their first round pick from three years yeah. ago. Yeah, you got Kansas City, Philadelphia. Buffalo, yes. Team, but all those top teams, you got uh, Mixon is a is kind of a big name, I guess, down oh, in Cincinnati. But I mix mean, it, mix him, <clears throat> he, if he ain't careful, they finna shop him. Yeah, they gonna shop him off too. So I mean, you, you're right. And you know, some of the top teams, you don't have to go overspend at that position, which is to our point that you need to spend the money up front because how long do big nasties who are absolute dogs? How long do they last? Eight years minimum. This is the funny thing, especially about interior. It. Three years ago. Kansas City virtually say they lost the Super Bowl because they did not have the right offensive line or yeah. enough quality offensive line. Yeah. They coach went out and changed that. Fix it quick. Denver. Ooh, Sean Payton. They, they came in and said, you know what? They want a free agency. We want linemen. They, 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 they like, we going to find out if it's Russ, but we going to give him every opportunity by protecting him. Ladies and gentlemen, the Super Bowl – in the second half, the MVP should have been the offensive line as a whole yeah. because Andy Reid said, you know what? He went to his offensive coordinator, which now is with a Washington commander, and said, you know what? We need to run the ball. And the quarterback, like, coach, if that's going to win us the Super Bowl. So the offensive line took over. TCU. Ooh, Denver did spend some money. Ask TCU this right here. Yeah. Dem, uh, Georgia offensive defensive line. Oh yeah, that was just dominant. owned the game. That was dominant. I, I keep telling folks, do not waste your first round pick on something that cannot. Yeah. Take you to the next level. Just an example, real quick. Speaking on Sean Payton and the Denver Broncos, what they did day one. Ben Powers, right, the big offensive guard out of Baltimore, they yes. went out there and took him. Yeah. Day one, four years, $52 million. Right. Taking care of business up front. You That's need right. the big nasties. Then they went out there same day and picked up Mike McGlinchey. Okay. Right. Off as a tackle from San Francisco 49ers. Yes. Went out there and gave him five years, 87.5. They taking care of, of Russell. Bro, they 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 gonna they gonna what they have done in a direct, indirect way, they have told Russ. We're going to do this a different way. This ain't going to be the problem. Yeah. Yep. So, but Ooh. back to our first All round right. picks. First round picks are offensive guard. Boom. Okay. Well, you and I both agree on that. Okay, boom. Let's go to number uh, round two. 
hearing a lot of rumors, Nate, about what they want to do with round two. What are some of the rumors that you're hearing? I'm, I'm, I'm hearing about a wide receiver, mm-hmm. something like that. Tight end. Uh, tight end. But once again, uh, I think for me, I think it'll have to be it have to be a tight end. Mm. Because and w- and what I mean by that, what type of tight end? Hank? He's got to be be a true dual threat. Mm-hmm. I got more leaning towards the run side than the pass side. There's some good tight ends up yeah. there this year. I, I, I think a tight end would be perfect right there. What, t- what type of size are you looking for out of this tight end? I, 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 I want one that's like 245, two, a real mm. 245, 50, not one that can work yeah. up to that. Yeah, true. Like, yeah, I like, want a true. Like wake up, booty butt naked. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, when he went, when, yeah. Okay. And so – and if he got decent hands, I'm yeah. good with that. But if he can get nasty on that old line and block some folks, I'm even better with that. All right. Well, I, I got. I'm gonna raise you, okay? So I'm gonna go tight end as well, right? But I I believe that around the time the Cowboys have their pick at number fifty eight, mm-hmm. okay, I think there's gonna be a gentleman available out of University of Georgia. Yeah. Big I boy, heard of him, man. Big boy named Darnell yeah. Washington. They, they say he's a smaller man. Specimen. 6'7, 270. Wow. Athletic freak. Will he last that long? Nate. Athletic freak. Wow. Absolute mauler in the blocking game. Just, you got to text me that when we get off the yeah, show. Yeah, I'll, I'll be. Nate, you love him. Okay. You would love him. <laughs> you would <laughs> love him. I mean, he, gonna put, if he put his hands on you, it's a wrap. He could block real defense ends. Okay. Mono okay. mono, no Six, help. Well, how, how been, Six seven two seventy. Can he bend down, man? Nate, can he move? And the boy got hands and he's athletic. Okay. And you think he'll be there at fifty? He's gonna be there. Okay. I think he's gonna be. I think he's gonna be a right around there. Okay. All right. Cause they got they got four other tight ends rated higher than him. Okay. Okay, but this boy is. He's, you know, once they start making a run in the in the draft, I know if everybody in. turns their eyes to it, and yeah. because he's such a freak physically, yeah. I don't know. It might be a toss up, but there oh. are more polished tight ends. Okay, right before what Dallas needs, yeah, he fits what they need. Okay, you put him in the hip pocket of Tyron. Yes. Oh, oh, nasty. Oh, nasty. nasty. Tyron yeah. Tyler Terrence. I don't care. And any a of them big, guys. a big range. What red zone threat. for that? Yep, red zone threat. Yeah. All day yeah. long. All right. Uh, so uh, tight end. So we're on the same quarter tight ends. Second yeah. round. Okay, third round. What you, what you going to get? Right here. Right here. I know I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in it. Okay. And let me preface all of this. What I really want more than anything, I mean, in the whole draft, what I really want, but I promised myself I won't, wouldn't mention it, uh-huh. is I want a defensive lineman that can start the run. But I know that it's not going to happen with Dallas. So I quit wishing for that. No, Nate, tell yeah, me I what you want wishing. at three. Yeah. What do you want in the third I, what round? I, no, what I, I, and I'm not going to do that. What I want <laughs> in the third round is I, I'll take a chance. And this is where I'm a little bit, I'm, I, I probably will go off kilter. I would take a chance on a linebacker. A wide receiver here. Mm. This is where I would take a chance on a linebacker or okay. a wide receiver here. Okay. But linebacker is what I want because that can start helping us. Not only a linebacker that can actually play linebacker, but if he takes a little time, we need a special. We yeah. we lost special team players. Yep. So we need a special team guy. Agreed. And I'd rather for that to be a linebacker. Got you. I we we once again are on the same page. I want a linebacker in the third round. What I believe. What happened? I think mm-hmm. Dallas will take a receiver. Okay. I think Dallas, once again, will, will, t- will draft a receiver just like they did last year with Jalen Tolbert in but, the third but round. But now they they, they got to get one that's up here now. I, I, you know, with I the know. offense, they finna run. You know, I know. They got to have one that's up here. I, I mean, a one that can think, one that know what to do, <laughs> one that can run routes, one that can be a part of the special team. I don't know about this last kid they drafted. I have not asked about it. I'm not going to call his name, and I'm not going to say anything bad about this kid because they have not told us as a coaching staff who did, have you heard, have they told you who this kid is and what he is? Nobody said anything. They just totally ignored this kid. I, my understanding uh-huh. in regards to Jalen Tolbert, he wasn't making any contributions on special teams. That's right. He's a really good route runner. He's not the most physical guy in the world. He grabs, he'll, he'll snatch the crap out of the ball, but he 
<clears throat> his route tree wasn't as polished as they hoped. And I think they're blaming themselves a little bit because he what he did in college, what he was asked to do, he did it really well. <clears throat> but it wasn't the whole route tree. So now they're having to backpedal a little bit. But I do I believe that Wait, they, what round did we draft him? Third. We can't back backpedal no more. <coughs> that, that how does that sound? That's bad. That that, that don't sound good. I, but you know what? This is the first I've heard on this kid. I've never said nothing negative or good about this kid. But this year here, he has he has to we, third, third round <clears throat> you're expected to come in and play. Yes. Give me at least 35% or 40% of the plays. Or uh, 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 be on special teams. Do something. <clears throat> but anyway, All right. I'm taking a linebacker first. What type of linebacker, though, Nate? I, I, I need a smart downhill linebacker. Downhill? Yeah, I don't need. I want a sideline, uh, a sideline guy. You know why? You know why we need a sideline, a sideline guy? Is that? Who's your sideline, a sideline guy right now? Uh, that linebacker? The kid, the kid from last year who got hurt. Uh, Couple of years ago, Jabril Luke. Cox. Jabril Cox. He's not a sideline guy no more. You yeah. mean that injury? If Ooh, he's not a Nate, that injury is unfor- it's not unfortunate. A, it's unfortunate. That ACL. If he's not a sideline to sideline guy, he's not big enough to be anything else. I agree. Now we got the Clark kid. Yeah, Demon Clark. Okay, he's supposed to be a beast. Demon Clark can run once he <laughs> learned what's happening. Agreed. We'll put him at will, but yeah. I need me a downhill clogging because when you don't, you know what I have, really want. You know what I really want, Nate. What's that? I don't, I, I, we can talk about it on this show. I want them to go trade for Devin White. Okay, out of Tampa they ain't Bay. Gonna do that. I, they, ain't, they ain't gonna do that. So let's stay realistic. It, Devin White just asked for a trade. Let's stay realistic. Come on, Nate. You have when you don't have but one run stopper. Like I heard somebody on one of the shows said that Neville Gallimore needs multiple plays. And then you backed him up with, yeah, he's a juggernaut. Yeah, he's a juggernaut. Jug is standing right in one place. He can be a knot instead of – man, stop. This is, I heard that. He's a bowling ball. I'm like, he, yeah, he a bowling ball all right – in the gutter, <laughs> come on, man. come on, man. Where what pins did he knock down? All right, what are your thoughts on losing Chauncey Golston? We shouldn't have. Yeah, that guy that <sighs> lost him. Nate. He gone. Let me tell you, the and good... he left for the same amount. Let me tell you the good thing mm-hmm. about Michael Parsons. Let me tell you the great thing about Michael Parsons. He'll go get. He'll go get it, and he'll make a play. Correct. The bad thing about Michael Parsons. Is everybody on that defensive line think they Michael Parsons? Mm. So when Michael Parsons is rushing the passer, everybody else is rushing the passer. Instead of doing, what and you doing. don't have the ability to do what Michael Parsons do. Understood. And right. so, yeah. All right. So we both think linebacker. Nah, okay. Man. Now we 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 disagree on the type of linebacker, but we both yeah, think linebacker. I want a downhill plugging it, and I want a cat that can run with anybody. Okay. Right. I want a cat that can sideline to sideline. Okay. You can't right. outflank us. All right. All right. So now, uh, fourth round. <clears throat> Is this when you go get your big nasty in the middle? Nah, I'm through with that. D line? I'm through with that because. Nobody behind Hankins? Because we have tried that. We've tried to go in the fourth, fifth, sixth round. Hold on, and Nate. Get guys. Hold on, Nate. <laughs> Hold on, Nate. They did it last year. And, w- and where did they line up? And where's Taking he starting? Taking Commandos. Where's he starting? Taking care of Commandos. On the best D line in football. Okay, that ought to tell you. <laughs> Whenever we go fourth round. <laughs> We do, we gonna get them right for somebody else. Come on, Nate. So you didn't you didn't pick wrong. Nah, man. That fourth pick, man. I don't know who to get. Because if we don't get an offensive lineman, we don't get a linebacker, or uh, 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 we don't get that tight end. That's that's the position where you better the three you miss up front. That's where you get it at. Let's say we get a wide receiver. We go out and do something silly and get uh, a, a, a safety or something at the first or second pick. Then we still got to get that. We got to still. That's my makeup round of what you missed in the first three what rounds. What do you want in four, Nate? 
I need people to know what a you want. A linebacker, a lineman. Another linebacker. A linebacker, a lineman, or a uh, tight end. So you're going back-to-back linebackers. Uh, well, the thing is, because I know we're going to miss. We sitting here talking. In that first, second round, we're going to do something out of, out of no, character. No, we're going off of what Nate wants. We're going off of what you want. First round, you said you want a what? Okay, fourth O-line, round. O-line, second round, you want I a tight end? I said I wasn't going to do this. Now I'm making myself a there light. There we go. Let's go. I'm making myself that's a light. I, that's what I'm looking for. I'm making myself a light. Come on. I want a guy that can't pat, rush the passer. Yes. All he can do is clog Yes. Hands. Thank you, Nate. That's all I want. Thank you. I don't care. If he never get not a sack, yeah. but he get four or five hits for losses, you want somebody with a key times you want in a game with a, with, a, with a wing stop nil deal yeah, right man. now. Yeah, so we need to go see who got nil deals with wing stop. You want yeah. that guy? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking we about. We work at Piggly Wiggly, stealing <laughs> food off the shelf. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Nate was a big a big host. That's right, I do. It's anybody ever guy. went? Anybody ever went hog hunting before? It's like when you go hog hunting, you see you see a hog out there. You're like, ooh, that's a that's a big one. And then all of a sudden, right before you pull the tree, here comes a big one. Yeah, the big nasty. You're like, ooh. When you walk when you walk out there, your eyes light up. That's what you want when you walk out there. If I can get one of those, boy, I just don't care about nothing but just stopping the run. The Cowboys will go to the second round of the playoffs if they can ever get that type of guy. So you got big big Hankins in the first first cycle, mm-hmm. right? First first lineup. Second line, as soon as Hankins get out, he need a breather, you bring in another big boy. Yeah. That's what they need. I agree. That's what they need. I agree. So fourth round, we're going with the big nasty up front and yeah. the interior D-line. Fifth round. I don't care. Don't care. Five, five six, seven, don't care. I don't care because okay. the, the bottom line is this right here. It might not be there. Uh, the, the great ones, even if they have off the field problems, don't fall that far down. So you, you, you get whoever you want. <laughs> Tell you what, package up the – from the fifth on down and get us another fourth round pick. Package it all up. I'm sick. I'm tired of this, man. And, we, and then we feeling, find some feeling filling your roster with Rickies. <laughs> Come on, man. Huh, Nate? You man. over it? I'm over that, man. I'm telling you, I, I don't do the fifth round. Oh, your entire defense is almost set going into the draft. Yeah. It gives you a lot of freedom. Package up the fifth through the seventh. And, and if we got any of the compensatory picks that's yeah. down in there, okay. package them up. Send them to send them to uh to uh, New England because they love them type of players, uh, the type of picks. <laughs> see how they get us a fourth round pick. They man. know what to do with them though. Yeah, they know what to do with them. Yes, sir. They find them. <laughs> they figure it out. Wow. Yeah, their scouting department is doing a lot of homework. Yeah. All right. So that's that's what you got. Okay. So we got a in the first round went out there and you got you uh, a left guard, a left guard. Okay. Second round, big boy tight end. Hopefully, yeah. you get a boy out of Georgia. I'm about to show yeah. you some film of him. Okay. All right. Um, third round went out there and got a linebacker. Backer, yes, sir. Fourth round went out there and got a big boy in the middle. Yeah, All right on big hall. line. Yeah, and then five, six, seven, throw them together. Go get you another fourth. Yeah, go get you another fourth. That way you ain't got to worry about no whole lot of rookie money being wasted. Okay, and we can you know try to def- you know defer some of that money off that off of giving up ten million dollars for the running back. Come on, man. They gonna they gonna work that out, mate. I hope they do. They gonna work that out. Can't work that out. All right, so that's your draft. You so if you get the, if you get all those position groups, you feel good. Oh, if if they get who I want, uh huh. And see, I used to be deep because we got a kid we're gonna bring on here who's a guru and Cal, uh, yep. Cal Yeomans, Yeomans, and we're gonna bring him on and he and he can break it all down. Yeah, absolutely. But and he watch all the. Fin- I used to be like that. I used to just sit right here and go back to back to back. On everybody, and I love the Cowboys. I am, I am that fan. Yeah, we know. But buddy broke me over these last four or five years. You lost you, lost you. Oh, when they didn't get the big boy that Tampa Bay got, the big, the big nose guard. What? No, you talking about? You talking about that Philly got? Uh, uh-uh, uh no, that y'all. Got. Oh, you talking about? Oh, you talking about my my no good nigga, whatever his name. <laughs> Holo Yeah, we got. I'm like, come on, man. Then we went and got this old dude. He now we done. Oh. Come on, man. I said, I'm through. That's too much work. You know the hours you have to put in? Yeah. Looking at things, trying to project things. Well, people tell me, well, you shouldn't be mad when you ain't a scout. <laughs> I put in them I scout hours. In them scout hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. there you have it. Y'all, y'all got it. Uh, 
Nate's draft draft board right there. You got my draft board. We pretty much, you know, that's why we that's why we click. We we think the same. We think logically. Yeah. We don't go off of the ding the shiny fruit. Leave the shiny apples alone. History says so. Okay, <laughs> dog. Adam and you Eve taught us. Snow White taught us. See when that thing say ding. Yeah. You know, and you in your car. Oh, oh man, the Cowboys got a shot at this. <laughs> you know, yeah. Exactly. Somebody. <laughs> Me and Isaiah, we just we, we just keep right on drive. Guys on the road. We know what we need. Uh huh. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you say. You know what I say? I said we flushed another one, Nate. Oh, in Niagara, we gonna flush it's another Niagara. in Niagara. It's Niagara. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in for another episode. Let me tell you something. Tell you something. We we'll see y'all next time. <laughs> <laughs>